Hello community, I hope you are doing good. In this discussion, we will see how to use cell CLI command. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to install or upgrade modules using the CLI command, please check link is given in the description. If you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Wablens channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo 17 and 18 development tutorial. And right now, we are working on this playlist. By the way, if you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning, you can visit this playlist because this is the main playlist and those are the sub topic wise playlist available all right so let's back to our main topic it will give you the latest notification about the upcoming session all right so here what is the cell command right cell command is used to perform some operations in the backend side i mean in the terminal side for example let's say if you are trying to fetch data using the search method and you want to perform some actions right to call the custom methods or write method or you have to do some uh, very basic things then here the cell command come to the picture so how it will work right so let's see here so first thing is so first thing is you can see here ls right now we are in the odoo 18 directory let me clean here we have to do odoo this file name which will active the Odoo service then after cell and then after simple we can add here minus D space and here we can add the database name in our case weblands Odoo 18 right now you can see here it's loading something like this you can see here the Odoo 18 version and it's starting into the it goes to the python terminal right so this is the first way right and now you can see here we have error message so error message is missing the manifest file of the student right so let me exit from this console right and here i'm adding add-ons desk path equal to add-ons custom add-ons and now you can see that error message result right now here what we can do is let's say you want to get specific data right using the search method then it's also possible so in our case we are using here something like this right self.env then after wb.student and then after we are doing something like this right in this case you can see it will give you the first record set for the student because right now you can see only one record is available for the student right here you have to remember env you can directly access right then after odoo you can also access from here like what is the specific directory of the odoo right and then after if you use something like this as a self you will get the current record set of the user by the way those are the predefined pyramid or uh, the variables you can see here all right you can also directly use something like this student search here i can use directly the name and now you can see it will give me that specific student name to verify here let's say you can see here original sunny leon is called right so this is the student but you can see here oh sorry this one original Sunny Leone student right now if you go to the terminal you will also get the same name okay here uh, there is a one more interesting thing and you have to understand is cell command and uh, right now it's activated this Odoo service in different service uh, it's a different two different things all right so first thing is you can see here right now I'm active the Odoo service so by default it's activated the http port number which is 8069 so that's the reason i'm accessing from the front end side here right it's nothing related with the cell command cell command is the separate environment all right so this is the first thing another thing is if you are changing something in the cell command right right now in in our case let's say right i'm trying to change that sunny leone like not original but only like let's say the sunny leone right i'm just trying to update the student record from original sunny leone student to sunny leone only that's it and once i will re uh, enter you can see it's written as a true you can see here right 
Now that means it's updated, but in the cell environment only, not in the main environment here. If, you, if I will refresh the screen, you can see you cannot change here the name field, right? So this is the two things. Now let's say if you, whatsoever you change in the terminal here, right? And you want to also update in this environment also. So in that case, you have to do one thing like self.env dot cr dot commit and that's it and now you can see here you can see it's a sunny leone so that is the main thing here you have to understand whatsoever you are performing in the cli command right and after that you you will also exit from that operation so that means without commit all right without commit what if you exit then all the changes would be rolled back so let's say again i'm going to here self dot env or let's say directly env wb dot student search right then after directly i'm trying to use the right method name and here I will try to roll back these changes now you can see it's a true right here in the front end side if I will refresh the screen you can see still the sunny leon is there and now let's say I'm trying to exit and once I will refresh the screen you can see here it still remain as a sunny leone not the original Sunny Leone student, right? To perform that specific operation with the, let's say, including the commit, then you must have to commit that specific operation. So let's say in our case like this, then after self.env, or let's say directly we can use env.cr.commit. Or let's say if I'm trying, I'm not going to the exit right at the moment, but you can see it's commit. Now you can see here, it's come back to the original name. Okay, so that is the main uh, difference in the cell terminal, the environment of the Odoo and the front end access of the Odoo. All right, so this is the two things you have to remember while you are using in the terminal. All right, so now, let's say now here we are trying to do one more interesting thing which is uninstall the module okay so for that let's say i'm trying to uninstall the crm module okay so for that like what we are doing is we are going to the apps we are searching the installed module right and simple we can just click to this uninstall button and click to this button right if you already know about the debug mode you can start the debug mode after you can click to this installed feature now you can see there is one difference right after the debug mode you can see the module name it's display here if you don't know how to start or restart or configure this odoo debug mode please check debug mode playlist i already explained what it is here simple we can click to this uninstall this pop-up message comes and here you can see action underscore uninstall this button i mean the method it will call to the backend right and once i click to this button that means it's called this action underscore uninstall and it will uninstall this module now what i will do is you can see here i'm going to terminal env ir dot module dot module all right then after dot search and here I will try to search the name field CRM. Now you can see here it's a 51, right? And if you verify from here, if I click to here, you can see here the 51, right? So that means, okay, that's good. Now again, I'm going to here. Then after I will call one more method. I will call here button immediate underscore uninstall so this is the method 
it will uninstall this map this module okay and it's written something like this now let's go to here and refresh the screen it's uninstalled so this specific cell command if you uninstall or install it will directly commit to the database so you don't need to hear again to fire one more query for the commit all right so this is the another point you have to remember so now you can see here you can't see here the crm right so here that's it and let me exit from this cli command right so we have to use the exit and that's it so guys i hope you understood about the cli cell cli command right if you still have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session